Hello everyone and welcome to Paper Pleats and Ribbon Roses. My name is Connie. Today I would like to show you how I created the uh, larger roses on this card. Um, I made them using one of the images from Close to My Heart's exclusive uh, cartridge, Cricut cartridge, called Art Philosophy. I did make these tiny little uh, fairy tale Prima knockoffs as well, but I won't have time to do a video for those today. So let's get started. I used the image um, found on page 57 of the little um, booklet, um, <clears throat> excuse me, flower number three. And I cut, uh, you need to cut five of these at one and a half inches. Uh, this flower is going to be slightly smaller than the large yellow one on the card. Um, and you see I already done something to the fifth one because my camera, I started this video a few minutes ago and my camera went on me, so I had to get everything reset. So you need five of image uh, flower number three and you need to cut them at one and one half inches. This will give you a flower of about a, one and a quarter inches. I find that the flowers turn out to be about a quarter of an inch smaller uh, than the original um, cut flower that you make. So you take each of these and what you're going to do is you're going to uh, fold them in half uh, with the right side of the flower facing you. So I'm just going to fold this up in half and then I'm going to take one side, right or left, it doesn't matter, and I'm going to fold that up over the top of the center like that. And I'm going to take the other side and fold it towards the back. So I'm going to end up with this sort of cone shape. The reason why we're folding these is number one to give us uh, some guidelines to uh, cut along when we cut these flowers apart and also we need to trim the end off here slightly less than an eighth of an inch the larger the flower that you're going to make the farther up you're going to cut the larger more you're going to cut off and uh, the smaller ones you just take even less off uh, the smallest I've, uh, I've used for this is the one inch and the one inch um, starting flower created this rose here which ends up to be about seven eighths of an inch and the yellow one I cut at one and three quarters of an inch but these were cut at one and a half so after you have cut that out you're going to open it up and you see you've got your lines for cutting and I've also created a small hole in the center so I'm just going to put oh no that's not it I have one more step to do here then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use ink you can use one or two colors and you're going to uh, ink the edges. All right. So I'll just get some ink on my sponge. And for this particular one, I'm just going to ink very lightly on the very edge. Um, on the yellow flower on my card, I put a little more ink on further in towards the center. So the whole flower turned out pretty much yellow. Um, and then in the smaller ones, I, I just inked the edges a little less. When you're choosing a, a paper for your, your flowers, uh, choose something fairly neutral. You can add the color with your inks. You could also add, as I said, uh, two or three colors if you wanted to. So you're going to do that to all five of your flowers. Now I've done that in advance to save some time. So I've done it to all five. All right, so now we're going to start doing some cutting. So if you want to take two of these and you're just going to cut in along one of the lines between two of the petals, just like that, okay? So those are going to be two six petal flowers, just like that, all right? Then you're gonna take the third one and going to cut out one of the petals So you're going to end up with a five and a one. Then you're going to take one more and you're going to cut a two of the flowers like that. So I have a four, a two, a one, and I just need a three. So you're going to cut this one in half and we use one of the threes and we'll just discard the other one because we don't need it. It's very similar to the, if you've, uh, last year I, I uh, posted a um, 
photo tutorial of how to make uh, paper roses. It's very similar. Um, it was all done by hand. Um, you can take a look at that one as well. All right, so now we've got two six petals, uh, five, uh, one five, one four, one three, one two, and one one. So the next thing we're going to do is start putting these up together. So I'm just going to put these aside. And you can um, do this simply with a, a glue runner um, because later when we put these uh, flowers together, uh, I'm going to use liquid glass. So it holds the, the rose together quite well. So what you want to do is um, you want to put some glue on the face of one of the petals on the one side or the other of the slit. So I'm just going to add some Tombow to that. And then you're just going to overlap the one petal over top like that and stick it together. So you can see we've got a little more dimension and we now have uh, a five petal flower that we created from our six. So I'm going to do that with the other six petal piece. Put a little bit of Tombow on one of the petals, overlap the other and stick them together. Now there's two five petals. Now you're going to take your five petal piece, glue that together. It's now four petals. Your four petal piece. It's a little trickier as you get smaller. I now have a three petal piece. Take my three petal. Now for this one, what I usually do is I just um, put the glue on one side, I do, no, oh, no, wrong way, fold it in and then just fold the other one over top like that. Okay, I hope I'm getting this in the right place. And that's your two petal piece. Wait a minute. Sorry, I did this the wrong way. It goes this way. That was not very good. Okay, I'm going to start over with the other three petal piece. All right, so with the three petal piece, you're just going to put the glue down. <clears throat> I just folded it in the wrong way. So the glue's on this side. You're going to fold this side in, fold this over top so that it can adhere, and you end up with, you want the right side on the inside. Now the two and the one petal we're going to deal with in a moment. So that's it for now. Now you're going to take something um, to roll your edges over. Um, I have this tool which came with our uh, rub-ons that we sold a few years ago. Uh, you could also use the end of a paintbrush or whatever thickness you think will work appropriately for the size of the flower that you're using. The smaller the flowers, you're going to use something a little bit less, um, a little smaller. So you're just going to take whatever you've chosen and you're going to take each of the little uh, um, bumps on the flower and you're going to roll it over like this. Just so you get some dimension and some shape. All right. hope you can see that. So you do this to all of the flowers. This is bordering, this size flower is bordering on using a smaller toothpick, but I should be all right. When I created the one inch flowers, I used just a, a small toothpick like this to roll the edges over. All right, three. This one's a little harder. This one I will use the toothpick. All right. Now, these two. Um, we are going to roll the edge just like we did. We just haven't put these together yet. These two petals are going to make your um, center bud of your rose. All right. So take the two petal piece, and after you've rolled the, um, the edges over, you're going to lay your, your toothpick 
uh, parallel to this to this edge of the flower on top of the flower with the curls facing down and then you're just going to start to roll can you see that just keep rolling it and and try and make sure you keep that folded edge over as well all right so you got a look like this so then just take the toothpick out you can unroll it somewhat um, and put your your glue on part of one of the petals um, and then you're just going to sort of roll it again by hand until you get the shape you want now you want to leave an opening in the top because we do have our one petal piece that um, has to go inside so you don't want to do this too tight if you do and your one petal piece doesn't fit in that's fine then that will make the center of your rose so that one's done now I'm going to take my one petal piece which I rolled over and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to hold my toothpick parallel I'm going to um, lay the toothpick down on the top side of my rose uh, petal and I'm going to just roll this uh, and as you do it, keep that petal edge folded over as well. Again, it's just to get you started, the toothpick, and then you can sort of play with it a little bit. So put a little bit of glue on the edge and, <clears throat> excuse me, roll this up. Something like that. It's not quite, a, they all tend to, to turn out a little bit different. I just want to make sure that it's going to fit in my um, center. So what I sometimes do then too is I just cut the little bit of an end off the first piece. Um, so it's going to fit inside the um, two petal piece a little bit easier. Now I'm going to put this together using my liquid glass. <clears throat> or not. Okay, I should have checked it before I opened it. Make sure that it was working. Here we go. Don't usually have a problem with my liquid glass plugging, but there we go. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit on the end of the no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the glue in the inside of the two petal piece. I just find it easier to put the glue in first and then you're not going to get a lot of um, excess glue on the outside of your petal. And then just tuck the one petal piece inside like that. And we'll just set that aside for a moment. Now we'll start assembling this from the largest to the smallest. So <clears throat> usually when I do this and I have my two uh, five petal pieces, I see which one has the largest hole in the center. And that's the one I will put at the bot very bottom. So I put that one first. Then on the back side of your flower, you're going to run a bead of liquid glass all the way around. Hopefully you can see that. And then offset the petals and just place it and glue it to the first one. So that's the beginning, like that. Then take your four petal piece. Sorry, it's a little awkward here. And put glue around the outside again. Now this is a little bit harder to offset because you're putting a five petal flower inside of a four. So not all of the parts will be able to offset. So I will just choose a spot that sort of looks good. And hold that in. All right. Your three petal piece again. Just run your liquid glass. Offset. Now each of these roses is going to end up looking slightly different, which is the beauty of it. Um, all right, so now I'm down to my two petal and my bud. I'm going to insert the uh, two petal piece 
or the bud into the two petal piece um, first. So I'll just put some liquid gloss around the outside. And tuck that in like that. And then put some glue around the outside of this piece here. Sorry. We had a little glue bubble there. All right. And kind of like it, right? Oops. About there. Now after this has completely dried and set up, you can sort of play with your petals a little bit, folding them down or whatever. Um, and also you can, you can cut the, uh, if some of the pieces are sticking out slightly at the back, you can just cut those off as well and make it a little flatter. So at this stage, you can just add some petal or some leaves or um, whatever you want. Um, and your rose is complete. Now just very quickly, um, just to show you some of the different sizes. So this one was cut at one and a half. This one was cut at one and um, three quarters, the initial flower. Now you can see uh, I put more ink on this one and the flower is more pink and this one is, a, is not quite the same. And um, I just also wanted to show you here, this is one that I made a long time ago using the other method, all hand cut. And I just wanted to show you that if you, this uh, base paper was actually creme brulee, I think, and I um, highlighted it with tulip. So you don't have to go with the same color. You can um, put ink on the edges that are a different color. Um, but I think that's it for now. I think my time is up. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun making some of these flowers. Until next time.